And we'll have to watch that system because oftentimes those storms that enter through the Gulf find their way swept up into the flow and push some moisture our way in the form of rain. But that would be a long time away from now. We had a lot of rain to deal with ourselves today. Four inches by radar estimates in parts of Greene County, three inches in parts of Allegheny County. And this is a supplement to that list I showed you earlier where someone on Mount Washington from the National Weather Service saw over four inches of rain in their rain gauge. Oh, two and uh, almost three quarters as you get into parts of Westmoreland County, over two inches in Butler County. So we've had heavy, heavy rain today. We had the thunderstorms, and those are all coming to an end. You can see how everything just decided to quit. The sun went down, and these storms are all moving out. And when the storms were moving out, a lot of rainbows, a lot of rainbow pictures came into KDKA. And it's a good sign because typically the sun is at your back, and in the evening time, when you're looking at a rainbow, that means that the sun is to the west, and if there's clear skies to the west, it usually means nicer weather is moving in. And we could use all the nice weather we can get because this year we've had over 30 inches of liquid precipitation compared to the same time last year when we had 29 and, three, or 29 and a third inches of precipitation. If you remember, last year was the wettest year on record, so we're running neck and neck with the sulkiest year that Pittsburgh has ever seen on record. And we don't want to do that, but uh, we get a couple nice dry days here. 67 degrees current temperature. Our numbers have come way down and will continue to come way down as we go through the night. We're going to lose a few more degrees and we're going to lose a lot of humidity between now and this time tomorrow. 70 Ford City in Indiana, 72 still in Latrobe, 68 in Morgantown. Looking off the top of Gateway Center, things are looking pretty good in Pittsburgh. Dry, we have 67 degrees. Our dew point is 65, so our relative humidity is 93%. And when your temperature and dew point are close together, you get uh, those higher relative humidities. And once you hit 100%, that's where you start to see some fog trying to settle in. And we're starting to see some of that up towards Venango County. And by the time we get up tomorrow morning, we could see more areas of fog developing. Just know through the day tomorrow, those humidity levels are going to be falling off. and We're going to be more in the comfortable range than the miserable or just muggy range that we've been in. Thanks to this cold front that's coming in and high pressure pushing in behind it. High pressure sinking drying air, so we get the dry air, the cooler air coming in. Tomorrow's looking a whole lot nicer thanks to that high pressure. Now, Saturday night and Sunday, there could be maybe a stray shower trying to develop, but I don't think this is going to have any major impacts on the weekend in any way, shape, or form as we have some very nice weather and even warmer weather for the weekend. 64, partly cloudy skies, patchy fog tonight, very light winds, and tomorrow, after some early areas of fog, we're going to look for 79 degrees less humid conditions, and that's probably the most important thing. Plenty of sunshine, highs top off in the upper 70s. We warm it back to the mid 80s heading into the weekend, so both Saturday and Sunday in the mid 80s. I think the humidity will stay a little on the lower side Saturday. Sunday will be on the muggy side, and then as we enter towards especially the middle of next week, we see more showers and thunderstorms return to the forecast, and you can track those anytime you want with the KDK Weather app. It has an interactive radar. If you have this app, you know what I'm talking about and how important it is on days like today. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play and download it for yourself.